Nathan Walker from Wales, growing up in Australia. Quite the story. That Walker that walked in? Yeah. And he scores! Oh my goodness. The Aussie has done it again! His first career hat trick. We are absolutely pleased here on Inside the Rink on ESPN Australia in New Zealand to welcome the NHL's only Australian hockey player. He's a forward for the St. Louis Blues and former Stanley Cup champion Nathan Walker, who also happens to be right now in Sydney, Australia, uh, enjoying that home time away from the rink. Nathan, how has uh, the summer been so far? Or winter, I should say. It's yeah, um, no, it's been pretty good. Um, you know, obviously getting the time to, to kind of take a step away from hockey and um, spend time with the family is always a good thing. And, um, you know, kind of mentally and physically recharge for a new season coming up. Before we talk about your play this season and your journey in the NHL, I'd love to hear about your journey discovering hockey. You moved to Australia when you were two years old. When did hockey come into your life? Um, I think I was roughly around four or five or so, and we just went to a local rink, my brother and I, um, and there was a D-League happening, and we just, I don't know, we, we just wanted to give it a go, and then kind of from there is when, um, you know, when it all kick-started, and, and we, we both fell in love with the game from there. I know a lot of people in North America, when they play hockey, their dreams are to make it to the NHL, raise the Stanley Cup. What were your dreams like in hockey growing up? Um, I mean, eventually it's the same thing, but uh, obviously starting, you know, you just want to play the game because you love the game so much and it's fun and then as you start becoming a bit more competitive through it all you you know you realize that there could be a chance to possibly you know make a career out of it so you played in australia you make your way to europe at what point did you realize you know what i could really make a go of this and play professionally and yeah perhaps make the nhl one day um i think when i went over to czech republic and you know, had a chance to play against kids that were my own age and a little bit older and um, you know, get get to be on the ice every single day and, and, and play, you know, 50 plus games. Um, you know, I think from there is when I really wanted to, you know, become a pro and, um, you know, try and obviously make the NHL and, and if not, you know, try to do my best to have a good career and, you know, in the minor leagues or something like that. And, um, you know, I think once I got to check and, and played against all those players, I think that's when I really found out, um, you know, that I wanted to play play professional hockey. So you eventually make it to the NHL. It's quite the journey to get there. Can you describe your first game? Yeah, it was crazy. Um, it was in it was at home with uh, Washington. We were playing Montreal actually, and um, before the game it was the you know obviously season season opener, home opener as well. So we did all the red carpet before that. Um, the build up was really cool because for me it was um, not only my first NHL game but the first game for the team as well. So it was all all the hype around that and. Um, it was great. I mean, I, you know, I had so much fun with it. The guys in the team were, were so much fun to play with. And, um, you know, I just, I, I just loved every bit about it, every bit about it. We just showed your first NHL goal. I believe that's your mother in attendance there. What do you remember from that goal? Um, not much. Just trying to get a box out on the, uh, on the winger there, trying to get out. <laughs> um, and, you know, lucky enough, the, the puck managed to ricochet off my backside and go in. So it was, um, you know, you, you obviously picture yourself scoring a nice goal, but, I think you'll, uh, you, you'll, you'll, you'll take any goal you can when it's your first one. So, of course, you end up going to the playoffs with the Washington Capitals. You end up winning the Stanley Cup. Uh, that was a big moment for Washington, of course, what they've endured as a franchise. But here you are, the only Australian player ever in the NHL, and you're hoisting the Stanley Cup. What do you remember from those moments? To be honest, not much. Um, I mean, it... As a kid, you, you dream about that your whole life, being able to lift that trophy over your head. And um, I don't want to say I blacked out, but you almost just go, you almost just go blank and you don't really like, you, you don't realize kind of what you're doing until, you know, you, you take a step back and have a look around you, what's, what's going on. So now let's fast forward. You're with the St. Louis Blues. Uh, you have a great season. You go to the postseason. You actually played the Colorado Avalanche, who are in the Stanley Cup now. How do you look back on this season with the Blues? Um, it was good. I mean, obviously, I you know it was the the most games I've played in a season, um, which I think is a positive and set a career high in goals, assists, and games played. So I you know I can take that as a positive and um, just move forward and obviously try to play more games next year and, and produce a little more and um, just kind of try and take that next step. So last question for you here, Nathan, on Inside the Rink here in ESPN Australia, New Zealand. 
What you are obviously an ambassador for hockey in Australia around the world. You are the shining example of a player that can make it to the NHL, uh, you know, growing up in Australia. What would you like to see the hockey scene become in Australia, New Zealand? Um, I mean, I, I could probably go on a, a lot of things here. I, you know, it's, I've played, you know, I've been fortunate enough to play hockey in the Czech Republic and the States now, so I've kind of been around a lot and seeing how different people do things and encourage kids to play and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot that kind of goes into it, but it's at the, at the end of the day, I think it's, um, you know, it's getting games on TV. It's getting more practice it's getting more rinks. There's a lot, there's a lot, I think that can be done. Um, but I think the, the climate and the culture of Australia is, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot easier to go to a, a sports store and grab a rugby ball and some boots than it is to go to a sports store and grab ice hockey skates and sticks and helmets and gloves um, so I think that kind of plays into it too. And then obviously the climate, um, I mean, like I said earlier too, it's, it's a winter's day today and it's 21 degrees Celsius. So it's, <laughs> you know, it, it is a lot easier to be outside kicking the footy than to be, uh, be inside on a nice day like this. I would much rather it be a winter day and be 21 degrees Celsius. Sign me up for that, Nathan. That's incredible. <laughs> uh, Nathan, you've been great with your time. I know it's your off season. This is your time off and you've been gracious enough to join us here on Inside the Rink here on ESPN Australia and New Zealand. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, much. Thank you very much for having me.